Uh, hey there, YouTube. So this is um, going to be part part two of uh, the uh, Project Axe restoration. I did this last week. I glued this all back together. Now there's a crap ton of excess carpenter's glue that oozed through the cracks. So I'm going to get that all off. And I think the spoke shave is going to be the best way to knock, take some of that stuff off. Because I kind of tested a few things prior to the video, but spoke shave seems to be the best way to do it. Look at that. That works really good, actually. Some gooey bits that doesn't like. Let's hope it's not going to wreck the spoke shape. But mind you, I only paid fourteen dollars for this on Amazon, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, that's working nicely. So it's working really, really well. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I got as far as I could with this spoke shave. There's some really goopy stuff up near the head here. And I'm basically just using a pocket knife to try to pop loose. It's, it's actually coming off a lot better than I thought. I was, thought this was going to be as bad as trying to get that duct tape off, which that was... What a clusterfuck that was. But it's really not too bad though. If I can get the knife under it and get started. I'm trying not to cut myself in the process. I wanted to be doing stuff outside today, but uh, here in Edmonton, uh, got a snowfall warning, so we got, uh, first day of spring, we got uh, getting four to eight inches. It's warm outside, it's above zero or above freezing, uh, but yeah, it's it's coming down outside like motherfucker. Like it's, roads will be fun on the way to work tomorrow, that's for sure. But I'm just going to pause you guys for a bit, and then see you in a bit. So I've done what I could with the spoke shave uh, and the knife. The word of advice, uh, if you're using a spoke shave and you have an open pocket knife on the um, on your bench, make sure you close that pocket knife because uh, just going down with the spoke shave and just boom right into the side of the blade. That was kind of a bonehead move on my part, but anyways, I'm going to start trying to sand this guy down and see what happens. <laughs> So I got as clean as I'm going to get it. Um, I don't want to have it too clean because this was a tool that he used in the bush. So I want to have some stains and, you know, some markings to make it look like it was used. I don't want to get rid of that, obviously. His, his name would burnt into there. Um, so yeah, I think the next order of business will be to coat it with some linseed oil, which I'm going to do right away. But first, this coming weekend, the next weekend, I'm gonna have a review of this that I picked up. It's a Holtz 4 little 26 inch axe, sculling axe. I'm gonna play with it next weekend. It's a nice little tool. But, anyways. Get some linseed oil on this guy. It's using the common stuff that's available here at big box stores here in Edmonton. I don't know if you can get this stuff down in the States, but it's actually not bad stuff. I've using it for quite a while. And I'm 
make a mess of it. Probably isn't the best thing to do with linseed oil. Guess from last time the same seed in oil, probably from the factory. Uh, I don't imagine he ever oiled it. Maybe he did, but I'm sometimes wondering if he bought a handle, he the handle with the grain going completely the wrong way, if he knew to oil them too, but who knows? Who knows? This is actually sucking up a lot of linseed oil. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that. Stuff always makes me nervous. I'm just kind of liking it with the bit of coloring in the stains and the grain from being dried out way too long. Like I said, this could be mainly a wall hanger. Don't expect anyone's ever going to use it for brush cutting anymore. I can't believe I went to linseed oil, this thing's sucking up. If you guys don't know, oil soaked linseed, uh, rag soaked in linseed oil can spontaneously combust. So, what I usually do is I just go upstairs and wash them. Just like wash the crap out of them in the sink with soap and water and then let them dry. I remember in school, like in, I remember in um, uh, junior high school when we had shot class, they had one of those big red uh, metal containers with the water that the oily rags went into. But I'm sure a few houses have burned down because of this stuff, but hopefully not mine as I try to take care of this. There's a rough spot, a splinter. Okay, so that's enough linseed oil for today. This can get another coat tomorrow and then the next day and probably for the next, probably till next weekend. So there's so probably no more updates on this because it's just going to be, I'm not going to make another video of me just putting more linseed oil on it. But anyways, I hope everyone's having a good weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.